Now, we thank those fisheries biologists every week. They give us a fishing report, and they do a lot of work to get that out to you. We appreciate that. we got some more guys today, though, who work in fisheries at KSU here in Frankfurt. Now, they're doing something really interesting. You've seen us do shows on big head carp. We're usually shooting them with a bow. Now, what a lot of people don't know is those are good to eat, extremely good to eat. And here's a guy right here. Rick, tell us about these guys right here and, and what you're doing here with them. Well, these are uh, uh, exotic species that uh, uh, everybody has heard uh, are increasing in numbers in our, in our rivers. And uh, there's some concern about, about their uh, competition with some of our native sport fish. In spite of the fact that they're invaders, uh, they're very good to eat. I see a nice big filet over here. That's some good looking fish. Now, I have wasted these guys before. I have, I have shot them with a bow and arrow, and I'll never waste another carcass again because you've showed me there's, there's your filet, a nice big filet that you've taken out. Can I pinch off a piece Why, of this? Sure. This is a smoked recipe that you guys got. Mm -hmm. Look at this fish, how white it is. I mean, look at that. We're using um, you know, hickory wood, just like you would smoke uh, uh, venison or, or some other or meat. Or salmon or whatever. Or salmon. And as we step over here, this to me looks like tuna fish. And as I take a piece right here and pop it in my mouth. Kentucky tuna. Kentucky tuna. <laughs> That is delicious. Why couldn't you put a little Miracle Whip and relish in there and have Make a it? fine fish salad, that's right. right. There are bones in this, but most of them are, uh, have been dissolved in the processing process, which is pressure canning. The larger bones that are still left are very soft. and Just like, just in, like in tuna fish. Just like in tuna or in a can of salmon. If you open a can of salmon, it's still got those uh, spine bones in there, the same type of thing. The bones are very soft, you can chew them up and you don't even know they're there. And if people can just be introduced to the fact that they are delicious to eat, uh, then we can hopefully uh, help to create a market for these fish, and uh, which would uh, result in, uh, in controlling these wild populations. You know, a lot of people make fish cakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna make fish balls. I'm gonna deep fry them. Got some cracker crumbs in the bowl, and I'm going to add some of this fish. I'm going to add some chopped onions, and I got a couple of lightly beaten eggs here to kind of hold things together. It smells, you know what it smells like? It smells like some people call them salmon patties, salmon croquet. It smells kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Always need to put a little garlic in. The uh, specialty grocery stores, like um, uh, you know, that that sell European foods, you'll find sometimes um, canned big head carp that's been canned in Europe and shipped over here. Wow. Little like tuna size cans, parsley just for some color. Generally, you're not going to see these products in our grocery stores right now. All right, Tim, are you ready to? Hey, I'm I'm always ready for good food. Here. Can you just pick them up? Sure, go ahead. Pick it up and take a bite. Well, let me reach out to those guys who are bow fishing out there who are tossing these things aside or using them for fertilizer. This, and I'm not kidding you, is delicious. For all the times that I've shot those fish and then thrown them away. Oh, that's delicious. Hey, thank you so much. Very good. For showing good. us up today. KSU does some really neat stuff. And if you guys got anything else going on interesting, give us a call. We sure will. Excellent.